Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. We're here with another video. So in this video, we're going to be answering whether you should buy Luminar Neo over Luminar AI. So as I mentioned in my previous Luminar AI video, Luminar AI was released in December 2020. If you watch that video, I'll leave a link in the description. I said Luminar AI was a very solid upgrade from Luminar 4 because it improved performance and added some very nice features. However, less than two years later, Skylum, which makes Luminar AI, launched Luminar Neo. So it was just launched in February 2022. What makes it more confusing is the price point. As I'm making this video, there currently is a summer sale and Luminar AI with the summer bundle costs 66 US dollars. However, when you go to Luminar Neo's page, it also costs almost the same. $68. So that's very unusual, is it not? You have the newer software, one and a half years newer than Luminar AI, selling at the same price. So it seems intuitive that Luminar Neo should be the better buy. So what I'm going to do in this video is to showcase what are the top upgrades for Luminar Neo to see whether it is worth getting over Luminar AI. So before we go to the upgrades, let me just quickly summarize what are the best features of Luminar Neo slash Luminar AI. So we start off with the raw editing. Luminar Neo, just like Luminar AI, supports raw editing. So you can do that via the develop panel here. And as you can see here, you can adjust the shadows and the highlights like so. One nice thing about Luminar AI is it's very targeted adjustment. So you can see it just targets here the shadow very nicely. It doesn't touch the highlights. Another great feature of Luminar Neo, which is also in Luminar AI, is of course their enhancement tools. So you can see just by one slide, you can improve the photo and things like Sky Enhancer. So these are very unique features and Luminar inherits all of this. Okay, so you also have the very powerful AI tools like Sky Replacement. Same with Luminar Neo. So if I choose, let's say, Sunset Clouds, which are my favorite, and it will nicely add that in, in a very natural way. So it will adjust all the tones. And similarly, you could adjust the horizon and the vertical position. It also has the portrait bokeh. If I just drag this thing, the slider here, it's supposed to add some blur, and there you go. A very nice, natural looking blur which takes into account the foreground and the background. Very nice effect. So this is, I thought, one of the best upgrades of Luminar AI over Luminar 4. So you can see a very similar feature set. So again, I do encourage you to watch the Luminar AI video where I show this all in more detail. Now let's talk about what are the upgrades. Okay, so the first upgrade would have to be local adjustments. So let's remind ourselves how Luminar AI does local adjustments. So in Luminar AI, you would click this local masking button here. And what you're going to do here is basically add and click basic here. And what you have here in terms of local adjustments are these controls. These are the only controls available for local adjustments. Okay, so you're limited really to, to these eight sliders. So that was local adjustments with Luminar AI. So what was changed with Luminar Neo? So with Luminar Neo, you no longer have that special button to go and add the layers. All the masks are now done in each of these individual panels. So for example, in this develop panel here, let's say I want to adjust just this person. Now you would go into this masking. So for the masking, you would have now this brush and then you can adjust the same settings here, the softness, the size. So let me just do that. So now that I've selected that, I can go back to adjustments then I can change the shadow. See that? It's now affecting just this. So another change here, notice as I click on develop again. So remember, I've made the shadow adjustment. So if I click on this again, you will notice that the adjustment is gone. Or let's say I adjust the exposure this time. And then I click on this, I click out, and then I click again. You'll see that the adjustment is gone. So that is a, a big change. Right? So where are all the adjustments that I've done? You have to go into this edit tab here to see all the adjustments. So let me just close all of this. So these are all the adjustments I just did. And then you can make modifications on this. Okay, so it is a very unique flow, but I think I have no issue with it. I think it is a, 
it is a good upgrade. So here you can see, or the first edit here, will have my original change of shadow. See, that was the, my original one. So you can make the adjustment on this adjustment. Right. Now, unfortunately, uh, Luminar Neo still does not have edge detection, which is a big disappointment. So I have to do all of these things manually like so. That's not the only change. So the bigger change though is Luminar Neo supports more, more types of local adjustments. Pretty much all of these all of these controls now have local adjustments. The second important upgrade would be Mask AI. So far I've demonstrated using the mask with a brush, but now Luminar Neo supports bypassing even that. So one of the things Luminar has been advertising all along was that, that their AI tools are smart enough such that you don't need to spend a lot of time creating masks and layers, even though their app does support it. Luminar Neo goes a step further in this direction through Mask AI. So let me show you. So for example, here, click on develop and you go to mask. You'll see that it now have an option for Mask AI. So let's just click on that. The AI is done, right? And you can see now that there are a bunch of objects which have been detected. So to mask any of them, you just simply have to click. So for the for the person, human, there are that, there's that. So it'll, it'll take a second or so, but then the mask will appear. And you can see if you zoom in closely, it is pretty accurate, right, in that case. So that's the human, right? Now, if you want to add, let's say, the sky to your selection, just click sky. Now, I don't want to do that, All right? So again, once you want to make that adjustment, you can just do that. So that was a better selection than I did because again, Luminar Neo does not support edge detection. So the edge detection is really through this mask AI. So what if I want to adjust now the sky separately, right? So what you can do is you can just click out of this, click out of this, then just click again. So you can see now that there is one item in the edit, right? So that was the, the edit I did. So this one is a totally new layer now, right? And so let's focus on the sky. So again, we'll go to the masking, mask AI. And now you can see it's much faster because it has already stored the objects in its memory and it's just going to launch it. So it's much faster the second time around. So now I'm gonna click on sky here. Now, it is not always perfect, no? As you can see here, it is not always perfect. So that's okay because you can augment this with your own manual adjustments. So all you have to do is just click back here for mask AI and then go and go to the brush and brush as normal. Okay, so let me just do that. So we're going to add the now again, unfortunately, you see that you see that in some cases you still need to do some precise selection here. But uh, okay, I think that is fine. All right, and then let us now do the adjustment again. So let's say we want to adjust the exposure. You could do that as well. It is now just affecting the sky. So that's very handy tool. I have to say it is pretty useful. It saves you a lot of time uh, in the selection process. So selections are the most time consuming step, right, to do this properly. So I guess this is the future of photo editing. So that is the second important upgrade for Luminar Neo. The third upgrade would be some additional AI tools. So let's start off with Relight AI. So basically what happens here is Luminar's AI will create a depth map or a 3D depth map of this 2D image. So it will be able to detect the background as well as the foreground or differentiate the background and the foreground as well as how far the objects in the image are. This is pretty futuristic stuff and this is uh, the same technology used by the iPhone when it does its portrait mode with one camera as in the iPhone XR. For example here, if I want to just brighten up the objects near me, see that? It's just brightening up the objects near it. Okay, so it detected which were the objects near it and which is far. Okay, and of course you can change the depth as well because it has a depth map, right? So as you move across, you're changing the depth of the, the effect. That's pretty cool, I will say. All right, so another 
nice addition to its AI tool set for Luminar Neo is this wires removal. Okay, this is under the erase panel here. And you can see here, you can remove the power lines like so. Okay, so maybe I'll enhance first the, let's enhance first this image here, make it a little bit brighter. Okay, so let's go back to erase here and let's try to remove the power lines like so. Just click on that. So it takes a moment to actually do all the AI processing. All right, so after a, a few seconds, you'll see that it is, it is gone. All right, so those were the top three upgrades of Luminar Neo over Luminar AI. So what's my bottom line? Do I think Luminar Neo is a better, is a better pick over Luminar AI? The answer there is a resounding yes. The three features I mentioned really do save time and improve your editing. It begs the question though, why they even have a Luminar AI product? when most of the features are exactly the same and the experience is exactly the same. Why didn't they just call Luminar AI something like Luminar AI 2? This idea of having two different softwares which do 90% of the same thing is a head scratcher for me. It would seem more natural to just have one product and that would be Luminar Neo. But suffice to say, if you were choosing between Luminar AI and Luminar Neo and the price difference was not too big like now it's practically the same if it's like a twenty dollar difference just go for luminar neo if they revert to standard pricing and let's say this luminar neo was 120 dollars and luminar ai was 80 dollars then i think luminar ai has enough of the features of luminar neo that you don't really need to spend the extra 40 dollars in the end i would pay a much higher price for Luminar Neo only if they add edge detection in their adjustment brush. That thing I think is e even more useful than the Mask AI. Just get very good edge detection in their adjustment brush. Well, those are my thoughts. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share this content to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.